So for me, turn-based games, they were my childhood, okay? Uh, I love turn-based games. I love this genre. It'll always hold a special place in my heart, okay? I have played classics like Final Fantasy VI and Pokemon Black, right? And they are just amazing games. But right now, currently, I feel like turn-based games are in a really weird space, okay? You have turn-based games coming out, good ones, like Octopath Traveler, which is a, pretty much a classic turn-based game, or Triangle Strategy, which is like a grid-based turn-based game. And they're really good, okay? They're really good. But overall, it's kind of stale, okay? Companies that used to be huge for this, like Final Fantasy and Pokemon, are just different. I mean, Final Fantasy, right? To me, that isn't even turn-based anymore. They're still good games, but they're not turn-based games. A lot of people do argue that Final Fantasy VII Remake is a turn-based game, but to me, a turn-based game has a certain style of battle and a certain feel that I don't get about it. A genre is made off of feeling, and I can quickly and easily tell that it's not the same thing. Um... And then with Pokemon, right, which I was talking about earlier, um, a little bit earlier, it kind of fell off. I'm, I'm just going to be brutal, brutally honest. Uh, Pokemon's fell off. Um, Sword and Shield, Arceus, it's not the same. It's just not as good. It lacks the... It, it lacks everything that made up the older games. What made me want to play them. But... You know, talking about Pokemon like this, um, the whole reason I made this game is, or this video, <laughs> is because I found a game that was really cool, okay? I don't know if most of y'all know about this, but there is a website called Pokemon Showdown. Um, it's on your, you can play it on your phone, you can play it on your computer, you can play it anywhere. But pretty much, it's just competitive Pokemon, okay? Hear me out here, right? It's competitive Pokemon, but... There's no grind, okay? That's what stopped me personally from trying to get into competitive. You have to grind out uh, poke to find Pokemon, to find move, to get moves, to get the right EVs, to train all this stuff, and it gets rid of all that. It simplifies. You just pick the Pokemon's you want, right? Pick the items, pick the moves, and put in your EVs. It's super simple, right? It's super simple. And making a team isn't even hard. There's the website that goes along with this is called smogon there's plenty of guides on there and there's plenty of youtube videos out i mean you're already on youtube watching this you could easily search out another video but uh, wait, wait, wait well don't leave my video okay keep, keep listening for a second all right but it's pretty much you versus another player right fighting out with your team trying to win and it turns it into a mental chess that i'd never experienced in the genre it gives it such a whole new depth because it's really cool to watch you and the, your opponent react to each other it's a huge website and it's really sh been worked on a lot it's obvious to tell it has so much with it as every gen one two three four five six seven eight right it has um every pokemon it has it literally has everything it has all types of um games it has like because you can play single right you can play double random battles you you literally it's it's everything pokemon competitive is if not better okay i think it's better i think it's way better made and then you have stuff like oh you have like this overhead display to make it easier where you can just check the the types of the uh, opponent's pokemon you can even type in commands to see what the weakness is for that specific pokemon it makes the game so so easy for a casual player like me all right but it keeps it easy while keeping the fun because you're still playing and that's something that i really feel like that's another thing pokemon has fell off on in the years recently right i know this is kind of this isn't about the game but if you've played pokemon sword and shield right it's so much easier than um playing pokemon uh gold and silver Okay, it is just far easier. I know some of y'all might say Arceus. There's some hard battles in Arceus. There's some hard battles. It's not the same, and it really isn't. I guess that's one of the things that the genre has fell off in. Is a lot of games just get easier. 
a lot of games have just gone easier. But I digress. You know, let me let me finish talking about this game, all right? It is legitimately a really cool multiplayer game. I mean, you can play with your friends, right? There's ranking, so you can rank up. You can play tournaments. It really does. It, I mean, I've said this like 10 times already, but it's so true because it, it has everything. It legitimately has everything. I mean, this this website makes me so excited. You can be on the bus and play a match, right? You can be at home. You can be searching through creating a team. It, it's just a good time, right? I'm not even coming at this from like a sense of nostalgia, okay? I love Pokemon. I love turn-based games. But I can understand their flaws, okay? This is just a general good game, all right? Now, I know this video has been kind of weird. It's not normally what I go for. But then again, I'm still trying to figure out what my content really is. Um, Thank you for watching all the way to the end. You know, you're boosting my watch time up. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're still here, maybe subscribe. I mean, you know, subscribe. Su subscribe okay but please subscribe uh who knows maybe maybe i'll make another video that you like because you obviously like this one enough to listen all the way and so 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 who knows you know uh comment you know comment about this video cool but also comment about stuff you'd like to see me talk about i don't know what my genre is yet and i'm still trying to figure things out you know i'm still trying to work my way through youtube 